This is my fourth video in the smartwatch programming series using the Crow Panel ESP32C3 1.28 inch IPS capacitor touch display. In part 3, we designed a digital watch using a background image created in Figma as the watch face. Before watching today's video, I highly recommend you watch the previous video as it explains how to add a screen, use a custom watch face, import and create custom fonts, add and name labels and fix the most common errors. In today's video, we will continue with the same project, add a third screen and create an analog watch. After watching this video, you will learn how to add multiple screens, switch between screens, and animate hour and minute hands. So without any further delay, let's get started. So far, we have designed two GOIs, one for the counter and the other one for the digital watch. For the analog watch, we are going to add a third screen. Go to the widgets tab, scroll down, and click on screen. On the inspector tab, go to style and set the background radius to 240. And set the background color. For the digital watch, I designed the watch face in Figma. However, this time I used Adobe Photoshop to create the watch face, hour hand, and minute hand. To ensure a transparent background, I saved these images as PNG files. Now let's import all three images into Squareline Studio. As you can see, all three images have been added to the assets. Let's add the watch face image. You can see the image has been successfully set as the watch face. Next, to add the hour and minute hands, we will use the image widget. Now, name the image widgets so we can easily identify them on the Arduino side. In the previous video, I explained in detail how to switch between two screens. Let me also play the simulation so you can clearly see and understand what I'm about to explain. As of now, you can see, I can only switch between two screens, screen 1 and screen 2. Screen 3 doesn't show up because I haven't set the screen change action for screen 3 yet. While screen 2 is selected, you can see there is only one event at trigger type is set to gesture right and the action is set to screen 1. This means that when I swipe my finger to the right on the display, screen 1 will show up. Now, let's add another event so that when I swipe my finger to the left, screen 3 will show up. Let's do it. Set the trigger type to gesture left. Next, set the action type to change screen. Then click on the add button. Select screen 3. Now, repeat the same steps for screen 3. After adding the change screen events, play the simulation to ensure everything is working. Great, it's working. Now, save the project and export the UI files. As I explained in my previous videos, each time you generate the UI files, you have to copy all the files and paste them into the same Arduino project folder. Now, let's open the Arduino file. In part 3, I already explained where to find the screen properties, how to enable support for large fonts, and how to locate all the variables. I recommend watching part 3 to learn how to avoid errors. There is just one thing you need to do every time you generate new UI files. Change LV color 16 swap from 0 to 1. Now, let's go to the main Arduino file. I defined three variables for hours, minutes, and seconds. 
This instruction displays the counter value on LBL counter. This set of instructions displays the hours, minutes, and seconds on LBL hours, LBL minutes, and LBL seconds. For the analog watch, you only need to copy and paste these lines of code into your previous Arduino file. You can find these variables in the UI file. And let me tell you, if you want to make everything easier, simply copy this template folder. It includes all the files with all errors already fixed for you. You can download this template folder for free from my Patreon page. Anyway, the code is ready. Let's click the upload button. The code has been successfully uploaded. On the first screen, you can see a fully functional counter. I can increment the counter using the plus button and long press the reset button to reset the counter value back to zero. Now, if I swipe my finger to the left, screen two will appear showing a digital watch with a custom watch face designed in Figma. There are many online and offline software tools you can use to design amazing futuristic watch faces or you can simply purchase ready-made watch faces. If I swipe my finger to the left one more time, screen three will appear showcasing our analog watch. I'm sure you now have an idea of how to use and animate PNG images. I know the design isn't too attractive and you can already see the colors are slightly distorted. This is because I used images with 32-bit color depth while the crow panel uses 16-bit color depth. If these images were 16-bit, this analog watch would look much better. So here is a pro tip, use images with 16-bit color depth for better results. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.